Okay, everybody, this is it. First test. It's a new cell. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. I know you can't see it on the video because it's not that close, but what a difference with the, uh, the way the cell is producing the uh, HHO now without the ends being exposed you could just see it come right up out of it and the bubbles seem to be a little bit more defined a little bit bigger which would be obviously our end result um, way cool way cool you could see it moving it's hard to see it in the video because the, the capture rate's not going to be that good it's just rolling. I mean, it's just roaring and it's up top there. I don't want to leave it go too long because I don't have a bubbler or anything else on it. Um, I just wanted to see, yeah, have you see how fast that clouds up. I mean, that's putting away a major, major amount. And that is just off of my battery. That is no battery charger. That is no anything. That's just straight off the battery. Um, I'm going to shut it down, hook up some meters, and check it out now. Be impressed being that that was just a battery. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook up some meters. Incidentally, that was pulling about 6 amps when I glanced over there. Because I do have a, this is my bench wiring kit, and I do have a uh, amp for a hook to it as well. Not the best set of probes I've ever owned, I say. See how that works out. I'm about 82 degrees on my cell. It's pretty warm in this room right now. Didn't take long to clear up. You can just still see some bubbles rising off of the sides. Wrong one. Okay, yeah, you can still see some bubbles. The bubbles that are on it are pretty big. It's pretty neat how the, uh, on the rubber, you could see how the um, bubbles have clung to the rubber where the bolts and everything are. It's like holding it, like, like a shelf hanging on to it. Pretty cool. Yeah, and you should, I think you could see it there. You can see it. See it right here? No, oh, wrong side. Wrong camera. Okay, you can see that little shelf right there. That's just what that is, is that's where the bolt is making the rubber stick out. It's acting like a shelf hanging on to that. Right there. That was the other camera. That was live. Okay. Let's crank this over to DC volts. Still got... 0.8 volts in the cell, which is to be expected. So, uh, let me grab a piece of vinyl down here because I changed the way the barb is on there. Cell feels cold. Okay, 
let's get our bubbler in here. We have to make a new bubbler. Every time I take the hose off the darn bubbler, it empties out my bubbler. So I'm going to introduce the HHO from the top of the cell, or the top of the bubbler, down into a hose. Let's see if that'll help me out a little bit. This way, every time I put it down, it's not going to go over. What I want to do is see if I can get this camera widened out a little bit more so you'll be able to see the bubbler as well. See, give you an idea how much we're producing out of the, out of the bubbler. Okay. I'm going to light up a little bit. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try it again. All right, this is with with no assistance. This is just a battery. This is a 12 volt car battery. Okay. Okay. This is why we do tests. A little bit of a leak out of the thing. I'm gonna have to put some putty around it. I'm gonna have to put some putty around the uh, terminal lugs. And surprisingly enough, my relief valve on the back is leaking. Didn't expect that. Did not expect that at all. But you know, I'm gonna let that stop me. I just wanna. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna add 10 amps from. The charge to it. I'm running about four amps now. I'm going to add 10 more amps to this and see what happens. Okay, there's 10 amps. Didn't jump up on my amp meter anywhere. My battery seems to be taking more, but it's not drawing anymore. I'm up to 11 volts, almost 12 volts, and it sure is heck pushing a lot more. Pushing a lot more out. More than I expected. Crank it back down. Hmm. Well, that was a test. That's why we call them tests. So uh, let me go ahead and shut this thing down, dry it off, glue it up, let it sit overnight. Maybe tomorrow or later on tonight we'll take a test. Maybe just let it go till tomorrow. Let's set up and harden up pretty good, and we'll just do another test tomorrow while the uh, cell is sealed. So uh, that's it for one day. I'm going to clean up, maybe edit a few more videos, and maybe uh, go and do something with the family. I think I still have one of those, so uh, let's see how it works out. So I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.